I have a huge problem with voles in my yard, and today for Mousetrap Monday, we're gonna test out the highest quality vole trap that I've ever seen. I'm calling this the underground vole guillotine. I'm definitely not testing it out with my finger. This is made in Switzerland, and I received this from the same company where I purchased the Top Snap Mousetrap. That's a very unique mousetrap that worked well. This is called the Top Cat Vole Trap. I can't read the words here, so let's remove it from the package, and I'll show you what it looks like. It's made out of stainless steel, and it consists of an outer tube and an inner tube. Down here is an opening that's covered up by the inner tube, but when you pull it up, it's held down with a really powerful spring. You can see a passageway. This lever on top folds over and holds it into place, and right here is a hook. The hook's connected to wires down below. The animal will come along, hit those wires, it comes down with a lot of force. It's very easy to set and very sensitive. Now this kit comes with other accessories. They're too big to show inside, so let's take this outside, see if we can set it up in a tunnel where a vole will come along and get caught. Here we have the accessories that come in this vole trapping kit. We have a digging tool. This has a cross handle. That way you can really push it in the ground with a lot of force. Down here is the cutting blade. This is in a circle. That will dig a hole the perfect size for our trap. This reminds me of a utensil in the kitchen for coring out an apple. Here we have the probe. It has a pointed end. That way you can locate the burrow and an orange flag. I'm just a few feet from my garden. Let me show you the hole we're gonna set the trap up in. Here's a vole hole right next to my garden. I'm gonna use the probe to find the direction of the underground burrow. Then we'll dig a hole with this tool and place the trap. We have a good hole dug. The tunnel runs this way. We're ready to place the trap. You wanna make sure the opening's in line with the tunnel. You place it down in there and set it. I'm now gonna put some dirt around the trap. That feels really solid. We'll let it sit a while. We'll come back and check it and see if it's tripped. It's been a few hours. I came back and checked on the trap and that lever is sprung. I don't know if we got a vole or not. Let's pull it up and see. Feel something. There we go. To remove it, we'll give it a little flip. Now this trap worked really well on voles, but it got me thinking, would this work above ground on mice? Let's go set up the motion cameras in the barn and see if we can get a mouse with the top cat vole trap. Last night we set up this trap in the barn and it didn't take long we got a mouse. So the top cat not only works for subterranean rodents and burrows, but also above ground for mice. Again, to remove it, we pull up the lever, releasing that guillotine mechanism, and give it a little flip. In my experience, the Swiss don't compromise on engineering or quality of material when it comes to making rodent traps. I consider this the best of the best for vole traps, but it's not for everyone. It's pretty expensive. But if you have a huge vole problem, this might be the trap for you. I'm posting between four and five rodent trap videos a week, so if you want to see how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.